Hello everyone, so in this video we are doing a camera's leather cover replacement for the Minolta X-T11 film camera and uh, this one over here it's uh, an excellent example of the failing uh, leather cover so what you can do is you can either glue this back with some glue or you can get replacement self-adhesive leather covers from some sellers online and peel those off and put on the new stickers or sticking covers on the camera and uh, um, apparently 3p is right here so i can't really do it at this space but i'm going to move my camera a little bit over to the other side and i'll show you guys how i'm gonna uh, go about replacing the leather cover so you're gonna go with me um, together on replacing the cover this is my first time doing it so uh, bear with me if uh, you know i do mess up with uh, the replacement process at least we can learn all together uh, otherwise uh, let's go to the next step all right so i decided why not just let him stay here so um the xd11 or the xd series is actually known for having very bad and shrinking uh fake leather covers okay a lot of minota camera have this problem because of the leather they used or maybe the glue they used that deteriorated over time um so Again, this leather cover I bought from a place called Hugo Studio. I think they're Houston based. And if you use this coupon, I think they give you 10% off, which is really nice. Uh, I need to order another set because I have some more Minota cameras that I need to replace, but they sell a lot of leather replacements for many other manual focus cameras. And those covers are laser cut and they have a whole bunch of different like colored, dyed, genuine leather, fake leather, sticky leather, non-sticky leather, all kinds of leather options and this one i got is like super grippy um like foul leather um so the reason i bought it is i want a more grippy surface compared to the original minota which have like kind of a smooth surface all right so obviously the first thing first you need to do with your camera is actually just peel off the old leather and uh this one i don't know how i'm gonna access this um self timer here i do have a tool that i can actually um put in here and kind of just open this area and remove the self timer but it looks like I have to remove the self timer to access this part of the leatherette and the next step after removing the leather is of course a thorough cleaning of the underside so uh, when you get the replacement leather this one is self adhesive uh, so it's gonna stick on there the, the better you clean the surface with isopropyl alcohol uh, the better those replacement leather is gonna stick on here and uh, not peel off okay so that will be the next step and uh, so let me try to just start peeling this leather and it looks like it's a very clean peel at least uh, for my model so it would be nice and it would make the clean kind of fairly easy or oh, some glue over there what I can do is if there are like really sticky leathers left over, I can always use Goo Gong, which is another like very good material for cleaning sticky stuff and the glues, leftover glues on the cameras and a lot of other parts, okay? But this one, I might have to, I might have to, um, yeah, take the self timer off first, but let's look at the back. And again, for the most part, it's a, it's a pretty clean peel. which is nice. Also good to have a little bit of the fingernails. And, okay. Oh wow, if I lift over here, you can see this actually goes to the bottom, but the replacement leather uh, doesn't have the bottom cut. Okay, so that's some interesting observation. That I've figured out. All right. So overall, for my model, it's actually a pretty good peel, actually pretty smooth peel. And there is not a lot left for me to do. Some parts are kind of like deteriorated a little bit, but oops, I have to glue this back. Kind of sucks. Um, but 
yeah, I'm just gonna throw those old leather away. And apparently, as you can see, this actually fell off. So I need to use a, let's see, what is this glue down? I need to, yeah, let me just clean this first. So first thing first, I always use isopropyl alcohol. This is a 70% wipe. And I'm just gonna basically quickly wipe it. Let's see. Once you wipe it nice and clean, um, I think the new leather is gonna stick on it really, really well and make it look really nice, okay? I'm gonna use some more. And again, I love the Minolta. Um, XD series cameras, they're very quiet when the shutter is is, uh, is working. Um, a lot quieter than many other cameras of the era. And uh, also the lens, the bokeh from the all the Minota MD lenses are absolutely beautiful. And the only downside, obviously, as you can see, is the leather cover on Minota <laughs> has very easily um, deteriorated. So let me get those bumps off. And I think what we can do is actually just install the, the back part first uh, while I work on um, actually getting the front self-timer area removed for a better installation. And I also have to glue this part back on there. Okay. Looks like a pretty easy job, okay? Pretty easy job. All right. Look who's gone. Sweet pea. Now. We have a lot more space to work with, and I can give you guys a better close-up detail of the whole camera, and we'll continue. Okay. So supposedly, you're gonna be putting your film on the top. So when you glue it, um, you'll want to probably just glue the bottom part so you can still able to actually, um, let's zoom in a little bit. So you can still able to put some film uh, indicator on here at the top part. And I have some, uh, let's see, I have some super glue. And that's probably the first thing I'm gonna do is actually apply some super glue and just try to glue this part back onto the camera. And obviously I want to do it very carefully because I don't want to leave any weird space in between. Let's see what it looks like down here. So that's what it looks like. It looks like I can just probably drip some glues at two spots and it should be able to hold it there fairly nice. So that's again what my plan is. I'm gonna drip some spots at those four points as well. And 
and that should be enough to hold this thing in place. I'm gonna lift it up and kind of just quickly put it down and hope for the best. All right. See what actually would stick and hold in place. And we'll come back in probably five to 10 minutes. And hopefully as long as it doesn't move, I should be able to actually just apply the back piece onto the camera directly. And this should be fairly easy, okay? All right, so a couple minutes passed and I did test and it's, it's super glue is doing its job. It's already kind of set the plastic holder in place now. I don't have to worry about that. And of course, the last step of installing the back cover is actually just peel this off and stick it onto the, um, onto the camera. And of course, making sure my hand is also oil free. So any kind of oil is gonna affect the, um, the stickiness of the glue. So you want to make sure your hand is oil free. Wipe with isopropyl alcohol and let it dry. And with oil-free hand, you can kind of play with the little super grippy fall leather. leather. Um, and let's see how well it works. So it looks like it's very easily, it's very easily peeled off. And oh, yeah, pretty easy. I just need to make sure I align it as, as the best I can so it doesn't screw up. So I had to realign it just a little bit. And uh, the good thing is my hand is oil free. So I literally just raised it up and repositioned it just a little bit. So it actually stays in place and kind of aligned quite well. It's slightly off. This area, I need to go down just a little more. So again, I'm gonna peel it and just go down a little bit and make sure it aligns perfectly with the bottom. And reapply again. This time, it actually went extremely well, okay? So the good thing is your hand has to be oil free. It has to be oil free. So you can move the things around just a little bit. And when you apply it, it's gonna be a, a very, very well fit, okay? Like so. Wow, instantly turned this camera into a much, much better looking camera and extremely grippy. Okay, so the back installation is complete. Now we can go and tackle the front installation. Look at that. So the Hugo Lesser leather cover has a perfect laser cut edge and it actually is sticking quite strongly and quite well at the back okay very very nice uh money well spent okay and let me just try to push everything inside so it situates nicely perfect perfect wow 
I can't believe it's the fit is ex it's exceptionally well. All right, so let's kind of just peel this up a little. And again, a lot of glue. So what are we gonna do? I have a special tool that I utilize, which is this little thing. Um, usually I just try to align the best I can on the little two dots, and then just try to turn it. And hopefully it turns. All right, so I just turned it a little, little bit. Now it's loosened. I am going to just use this to kind of like turn it and take the self timer off. And you have to take the self timer off for the installation of, um, of the leather on this side. And make sure you remember the direction of everything. Okay, there's a little square. I don't know what this square is for but try not to mess with the construction of the setup. Okay, all right, there you go. All the leathers are off. Next step, I need to, again, isopropyl alcohol and clean the front. Make sure oil free, best you can. Now is also a great time to clean the camera, okay? The better you remove the grease, the better the glue is gonna stick, the adhesive is gonna stick onto the camera. So just make sure you do your best, okay? So that side is clean. Focus on this area. I remember there were quite a lot of glues, as you can see. Yeah, quite a lot of glues. Get rid of those. Get a new one. And that's pretty easy. It's actually one of the easy job you can do to uh, improve your camera's look greatly uh, is just by replacing a leather cover which costs you know less than twenty dollars think of one more wipe we should be ready to go for both sides time I'm going to clean the self timer just a little bit since it's probably never being taken off okay all right looks about right Can't help it dry just a little bit quicker look at that both areas are now oil free and again as a precaution I'm going to Clean my hand off any oil and grease and adhesives and then get those parts and we can do a replacement. The front should be much easier, okay? Um, doesn't require alignment as much and all you have to do is find the perfect angle. Actually, I think I'm going to start this way. Oops, cat hair. Can't have cat hair. Okay. 
And because the fit is so precise, once you align one edge, it should fit really well for, for the remaining part, okay? So just gently, and I have to push this just a little bit. Let's see. This part is it's harder than I thought. Looks like I have to realign it from this side first, okay? Um, yeah, that's going a little further. All right, that looks about right, okay? Precision is the key. All right, this part is actually pretty tricky. Um, I haven't, I haven't aligned as well as I thought. Hopefully, this time it would actually align. All right, so that looks, that looks about right. Wow, yep. All right, I'm gonna share with you guys the trick, okay, in a little bit. So now since I touched over this area, I might just want to clean it one more time, just to make sure. But this adds a lot, a lot of grip to the camera, okay? Wow, very nice. All right, so last part. The trick is you have to align this side first, and you have to make sure you're not touching it when you pull when you put this piece close to the camera lens mounting point. Once you touched, you can push down, and everything is going to get aligned perfectly. Okay, so that's a trick that I just learned, and look at that look at that cut. It's like absolutely perfect cut. Okay, so one more time, I'm going to clean my hand free of oil. And we're gonna apply it one more time. And free of oil, if you mess it up, um, you can still reuse the adhesive. Okay, all right. Let's dry it. My hand is also super dry. We're gonna apply the last part. As I told you, the trick is actually align the lens side first. So, let's see. And keep at an you know, upward angle. Once you get everything aligned, you push down. looks about right okay
just pushing all the edges to make sure it's um, seated nicely, especially the edge because you don't want them to, to like pop up, pop back up. But it does seem like it's a very good strong bond, okay? Very nice. So the only thing is, if I open the film door, it gets bumped just a little bit. So I gotta figure out how to fix this part, but it does look like it's self-resolved. So it, it's got pushed under the film door, and now it doesn't have any problems, okay? Very, very nice, all right. So the very last step, of course, is just to put the self-timer back on there. Okay, I'm gonna make sure all the, especially the edges are very nicely pressed in. So again, they don't pop out. the self timer back on and pretty easy if you recall you just need a special tool and right there we're gonna put the little screw on there you can just hand wind actually if you have a tweezer you can probably use the tweezer to just tighten it but Again, I'm gonna use my little tool. Just make sure it's tightened just a little bit. All right, okay. Now we can do a test. Put it on the uh, manual mode. So self timer. Kind of gets stuck a little bit. And probably because I haven't used it for a while, okay? If you use it regularly, the timer shouldn't get stuck. And if it gets stuck, just wind it a couple times and it should do its magic again. But with vintage cameras, my advice is try not to use it as much or too much because those timers do break, okay? Um, yeah, just give you guys a final look. This uh, this thing from Hugo Leather or Hugo Studio is fantastic. Look at the fit, okay? This is better fit than Menonta's original um, covers. <laughs> it's like super precision fit. I love it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about you know, replacing the leather cover on the Minota XT11. Feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. And uh, I'll post the link down below on where I bought all the supplies, materials, and tools you need. Um, hopefully, when you need to replace yours, uh, it will be a very easy task, okay? So thanks again. I'll see you in the next video.